After years of planning, Sioux City's Chris Larson Park Riverfront project is now in motion. KCAU 9 news reporter Lydia Vasquez outlines the game plan for phase one and how community members are reacting to that project in our top story tonight at 6. The Sioux City Council on Monday awarded a $5.8 million contract to a Sioux City construction company to begin phase one of the Chris Larson Park Riverfront project. This first phase is going to be focused on how can we lay the foundation, right? How can we put those essential pieces into motion so that we can build upon it? City Council member Alex Waters says phase one will focus on infrastructure like parking lot demolition, planting trees, and electrical improvements. He says he has high hopes for the opportunities this project will bring to Siouxland. I think you're going to have people that are visiting Sioux City. Maybe they're coming for a concert, maybe they're coming from a, for a sporting event or something like that, and they're going to want to go down to the riverfront and enjoy it. But I also think we're going to be utilizing it for the people that live right here and call Siouxland home. Some Sioux Cityans have mixed reactions about the project. I think in terms of the total cost, I think a lot of the money could be better spent in infrastructure, uh, water lines, sewer lines, streets, those kinds of improvements around the city. It's a local project. It's going to be hopefully employing more local people. I'm not, not saying local Siouxland, but hopefully within the state or even the nearby state tri area. We need to get money into the area. That includes the projects. Those are workers. Those are bids. Those people are going to be spending money around here. Any economical movement right now is definitely needed. Water says a great deal of money has been raised through grants and private donations. Construction on the multi year project can begin as early as June. The council is also awarding design work to begin phase two. In Sioux City, Lydia Vasquez, KCAU 9 News.